Hello everyone. Uh, if you've been following my channel, uh, you know that we have been working hard building a log house. It's mostly done, but um, there was uh, a storage room up behind the loft area of our home uh, that we finished. Uh, I did a couple of videos early on uh, while we were sort of working on it, but I never did a, a video showing the completed area. So um, I thought I'd, while I had some time today, I thought I would just do a quick video and show you the progress we made on our uh, converting our storage room uh, up behind the loft into an additional bedroom. Uh, we also put in a half bath up there as well. So anyways, I thought I would take some time and uh, show you how it turned out. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's take a walk up to the loft. So we're heading over by the front door around the corner uh, and up the loft. Uh, just on a side note, I put these little carpeted stair treads in uh, while I was doing work a few weeks ago up here. I was walking down the stairs. Uh, these hardwood floors are slippery. I, I should have been wearing shoes, but I was wearing socks and I slipped right at the top of the stairs, fell on my back and slid all the way down the stairs. I was hurting for days. Uh, anyways, so let me shut this door real quick and I'll kind of give you an overview. So here's the loft, looking down into the great room. There's the stairs and as you come up, here's the loft area. This room straight ahead was the unfinished storage room uh, on our cabin and we turned it into a bedroom for our daughter. Um, I don't know what it looks like in here. My daughter um, had some company for a week, uh, one of her friends from school, so I don't know how she left the room here, but anyways, let's turn some lights on. And this is how it came out. So we, uh, we basically, uh, we drywalled. Uh, let me see if I can zoom out a little, there we go. So we drywalled uh, the whole room. And then on the two gable walls, we did tongue and groove pine. Uh, we put a little sconce light right here on the inside of the door. And, uh, and then the carrion beams up here, I boxed them in to make them look like exposed beams. Uh, I boxed them in with a pine. And uh, I think the room came out pretty good. We, the only thing I have left to do is um, put the closet doors in and then wire up some lights on the inside of the closet. The wiring's already there, I just haven't put the lights in yet. Uh, and we do have the doors, they're down in the basement, I just have to clear coat them uh, before we put them in. But uh, anyways, what we did over here, there's a little access door right there uh, that I built, and that goes um, into the crawl space where the uh, HVAC system is, and that gives us access to the ductwork uh, behind this wall. And then I did the same thing over here. There's another access door right there. And that's just a little bit of storage space. And this little dormer that was here is where my daughter decided to put her bed. Uh, we're going to do some built-ins at some point. Um, Built-in shelving. and I, I don't know. My daughter has, has, has this big idea for it. Um, and then we put another little door here behind the fish tank. And that just accesses some storage and some crawl space and you can also get to the bathroom plumbing through there and like i said the beams we put in a couple of these little tiny ceiling fans they came out nice uh, all recessed lighting and there's the smoke detector over there and oh and we also put a little sconce light up here above our daughter's bed uh, right there it's kind of neat looking so um yeah, so that's the bedroom. Uh, there's the AC duct, one there, one there. And uh, yeah, like I said, this room came out really nice. It's a very, very large room. Um, probably, I don't know, I, I haven't measured it, but probably 300 square feet in here, <laughs> pretty close. Uh, the flooring in this room is slightly different than the flooring we used out through the rest of the house. Um, almost identical in color, but um, it's a bamboo instead of a hickory. But anyway, um, there's the zoned heating for up here. Um, we haven't really had to turn our heating system on since we got that pellet stove. It's been pretty nice. 
Uh, anyways, let me shut that off, the light off, and I'm gonna come back out here. And this right here uh, is a half bath, and it came out pretty nice. Right now we have it hooked up to a uh, motion sensor light. Um, we haven't wired up the, the lighting in here yet, but uh, this bathroom came out pretty nice. It's a very neutral color we chose in here. It's like a very light gray. Got a mirror and there's our vanity. We got the toilet in and uh, yeah, it's pretty much done in there. I just have to wire up actual lighting around the around the mirror, but uh, and that will go into that box right there, the lighting. So yeah, so we got all the all the trim work done and uh, yeah, this came out really nice. So anyways, that's the progress on our uh, loft space. We finished the half bath and we got my daughter's bedroom done. And that pretty much wraps up our house just about. I mean, there's always gonna be a little bit to do here and there. Um, but for the most part, I take my time going down the stairs, I already fell once. Um, for the most part, the house is done, uh, you know, little odds and ends here. Um, and I gotta tell you, we love this stove. It's amazing. We've had it since October and we literally have not turned our heating system on since we got it. It heats the entire 2,400 square feet. Uh, absolutely amazing, best purchase ever. Uh, one of the best home investments I've ever made, without a doubt. So um, anyways, that's the end of the video. And hope everyone is having a wonderful new year and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.